Well, good Tuesday morning, everyone. Certainly a pleasant start this morning. We have temperatures mostly in the 50s, a few of you in the 60s this morning, 64 degrees, the warm spot for Lima as well as Bell Fountain, but most of our outlying locations are in the 50s, 56 degrees in Delphus. 56 in Upper Sandusky, 57 in Ottawa. So a very nice morning out there. And you know, it's been very warm the last several afternoons, but the, really the humidity has been pretty low. So that's been allowing us to cool down each night. Not to mention, we have to remember now, the nighttime hours are pretty long, so it gives us more room to cool off compared to what it would in the summertime. So the heat that we've been dealing with, not so bad. As we look at temperatures off to the west of us this morning, quite warm. But Minneapolis, you've been setting records the last several days. And this morning, your temperature is incredibly warm, where we should be looking at temperatures, you know, this time of year, they would be in the low 40s on average for a low in early October, but they are in the lower 70s this morning, all ahead of a cold front beginning to move in across the western parts of the Midwest. So look at our temperature forecast today. We're 62 at 8 a.m., Already 72 at 10, dry air heats up fast, and we're going to have nothing but beautiful sunshine all day long. So this afternoon, it's going to be a hot, sunny forecast for us with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. I do think some of you will get up to 90 degrees for today. So it is going to be a toasty Tuesday afternoon. Check out those forecast highs this afternoon. 88 degrees for Lima, 87 for Salina and Wapakoneta. Forecasting 90 degrees today for Bluffton. You guys also hit 90 yesterday. So it is going to be a very warm day. Again, at least the humidity is still relatively low and we'll start to pick up a little more of a breeze too. So again, at least it won't be quite so bad. Looking at our sky cast, we note again, not much to track here today, just lots of sunshine outside. So we're not really gonna have anything to stop us from warming up. We've got that southeast flow. We've got the sunny skies. So again, all things that will help us warm up quickly today. Still very quiet tonight and then tomorrow, the first sign of some changes will be a few clouds moving through. We're still going to be dry tomorrow. It's still going to be incredibly warm for this time of year, but we will begin to notice a few clouds on Wednesday, so we'll call it partly cloudy by tomorrow afternoon. But no rain yet, but as we get into Thursday, we do start to pick up some moisture. We get some moisture to work in ahead of this cold front. So it just looks like a pretty good shot for rain. It looks like those chances of rain are quite high, especially Thursday, the second half of the day. So Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, it looks fairly unsettled with rain showers moving through. Nothing severe but just some good old-fashioned showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. And then Friday looks like a nice day as the first front will move through. It's going to cool us down and we'll dry out Friday with some sunshine. And then a secondary front is going to actually move in Friday night and give us even cooler air, believe it or not, as we head into the weekend. So let's check out your seven-day forecast, watching those temperatures plunge from 87 degrees tomorrow down into the low 70s as we get towards Friday and then by Saturday, ouch, I mean that's a big change, 56 degrees and we're going to be talking about some gusty winds this weekend as well and by Sunday morning we're waking up to 39 degrees so it is just weather whiplash that I like to call it from one extreme to the other all within the next several days.